All right, guys, this is Dink Gamer, and we're going to get back into some more Detroit Become Human. In this episode, it looks like we are back with Connor and probably Hank. If you like this video, please go down below and smack that like button, guys. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way you will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Make sure to leave your comments down below, guys, as well. And don't forget to check out my links. I've got a Twitter link. I have a Twitch link. I also have a link to my merchandise store that you can go in and check out the Dink Gamer merch that dropped about a week, week and a half ago. Uh, also, you can check out my bio and all of that stuff there as well. Let's go ahead and start out here. We're going to get out of the car with Connor. Looks like Hank is sitting on a park bench looking at the city. Whoa, this ain't Detroit. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? <laughs> Is it just you? It's just me. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen <clears throat> table. Oh, man. Your son, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His name was Cole. Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Before Cole died. That's all you gotta say, man. Before Cole died. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you, really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. I could kill you. You would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't. 
can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Ooh. I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Shaken. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. To get drunker, he needs to think. Oh wow, that one was way too... 52%! <laughs> Hank left Connor alone. So the other way, I don't know what it would have been, but... Photo scene in Russian roulette. Yep. Saw that. Okay. 52%. Uh, we're going to continue on, guys. That was a very, very short. So, November 7th of 2038. 924 AM. Oh, now we've got Marcus. And he's still hanging out in the area where those paintings were. Or the murals or... Something's going on in that mind of his. Oh. Hmm. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. Revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Well. What do you want to do? Don't know what this reminds everybody of, but... Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Ooh, look at Marcus looking all sharp. Wonder where he got them clothes. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay. Access the 47th floor. for you I'm okay thanks Elizabeth Wilson Emily Wilson She has a smart watch with a phone number on it. There's going to be a water service interruption at her home on Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Parking badge. Car registration API 1704, floor 3, spot A21.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Okay. What do I do? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Okay. So I believe it said we had to go to the, what, 47th floor? Yeah. 47th floor. Okay. 45, 46, 47th. Find package in the men's bathroom. So we are here. The men's bathroom is all the way down in the middle. be this one that's green, huh? Beep boop boop beep beep it doop boop boop beep boo. Hey hey package was in place and secure. <laughs> Look at that. All right, I guess we're leaving. Now, find a utility android. All right, we just passed one.
I just saw one when I got off the elevator. Okay, we've got meeting room, meeting room, women's bathroom, meeting room, server room, and control room. Uh, east workspace. Oh, maybe that's where I gotta go. Let's try that. Let's try the east workspace. East workspace. Huh. Meeting room, meeting room, bathroom. No. There's no access to that spot. Darn it. Okay, then we'll try one of these other ones. Studio, studio, that's the control room up here. server room then I guess I'll go to the stairs my goodness now it's turning into a long video Just stops moving. Just stops completely. It's one thing I don't really like about this is that it's not these guys. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Well, let's go in here. Why do you stop walking? For crying out loud, Marcus. Keep walking. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. Oh, what is this? There he is. Oh my gosh. I need your help. I need your help. Steal the maintenance cart. Steal.
Now I gotta find the fire escape. Can do that. Following is something that I am very good at. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? Sure, why? What am I going to do? Oh, maybe that thing. Let me go try to access that, uh, that thing over there. I figured it was something right, to do with that. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Got to get a glass cutter out of the bag. Thunk, thunk. Vacuum locked. Take out the laser and cut the window. Nice. It's windy, snowy, and cold. Slam. I've been on one of those. Hook up. Whoo! Look at us go. We got this. Support your team. Rise. Like the music. It's kind of incredible. We're doing it on a good day. The snow is blowing around. Nobody should be able to look up and see them. Oh, 
Yeah. That's some You're acrobatic ready? stuff there. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Uh, service lift called destroy the maintenance something lock. to the main access corridor. Here we go. <laughs> Deal with the guards. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? <sighs> right here. I'll just ruse them. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Boom, boom. Jericho likes me more. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I needed a quick drink. All right. We need to reach the broadcast room. Coming in. Loaded for war. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up. Move. Okay, here we go. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words oh, now I gotta make choices for a speech. Uh. Marcus, your face. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Wow. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. 
We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Ooh, dang. Now we know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. Wow. They're coming. Let's go. Let's go. Hoop -ha. They're shooting. They're shooting, Marcus. Now what are you gonna do? They're shooting. Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! Come on. You can do this. Blue blood. He's been hit. He's been hit. It's only a flesh wound. He'll be fine. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. Because it's your call. <sighs> I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Josh doesn't like me, North does. Okay. Well, I guess we took the best of both worlds. If I had left him, she would have hated me and he would have liked me. Let's go! Do 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 just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower. That's right, you're talking about us now, aren't you? News Network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claim for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Wow. Well, looky that well 70% that's not too bad guys. That's really not too bad Boy, I love how it does this it accesses all the little things uh, The group escaped but Simon was destroyed Up on the roof Okay, so yeah We got, oh my goodness, 70%. So not too savvy. Well, listen, guys, that was a very exciting section of the game. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know I did. We're getting awfully close. Close? We're getting awfully close. So 
once again, like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed this video, please go down and smack that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, go and subscribe to my channel. All it is is a tiny little click on the subscribe button and then ring that bell for notifications so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Hope you're enjoying Detroit Become Human. I know I have enjoyed every last episode that I have created for you guys. And I hope that you're getting some enjoyment out of it as well. This is Dink Gamer signing off. And remember, I always say, you're never too old to game. Thank you, guys.